Lisa, if there is any review that it's easy for a critic to write, it's of a bad Hollywood romantic comedy. They're kind of all the same. They're all sort of plastic in the same way. But now, relief has arrived ah. in the form of a mini wave of indie romantic comedies. And I emphasize these are not quirky, annoying indie romances. They're genuine romantic comedies, but told with a freshness. Case in point, the movie we're talking about today, Ruby Sparks, it's the new film from the directors of Little Miss Sunshine. Mm -hmm. It takes off from a total high concept. Paul Dano, the charismatically droopy actor from <laughs> Little Miss Sunshine and There Will, there be, will blood. be Blood. Right. When do we get our money, Daniel? <laughs> He plays a droopy celebrity novelist who is a blocked writer and he's still recovering from the love that got away. And then he meets the perfect girlfriend. And there's a reason she's so perfect. He has written her on the page and she has come to life. Can you see her? She's real. Ruby! And she is played by Paul Dano's real life love, Zoe Kazan. And I think one of the things that's so charming about this film is that we have a couple who we know are a couple in real life. What's fascinating is that Zoe Kazan has the intelligence and perception to recognize what it is a man wants when he invents a dream girlfriend. And there's a marvelous development where the dream girl who has come to life starts to have her own mind, and he doesn't like this very much. That's right. You know, I have to say, when I saw the movie, I had no idea that these two actors were an item. Ah. But I did know that Zoe Kazan had written the script. Yes. And also, I saw what an incredibly fresh and alluring present she oh, is. She's, she's delightful. She reminded, she sort of is like Scarlett Johansson crossed with Victoria Jackson. Um, okay, I'm not going <laughs> to imagine that one. I think of her as looking just like Zoe Kazan. Yeah, but I'm talking also just about her personality. She's sort of sexy, quirky at the same time, but she's written a terrific screenplay. She really has gotten inside the male mind, and yet at the same time, I think it's kind of a universal movie. In some ways, this I reminded me of that Seinfeld like episode where Jerry meets jealous. the perfect girl because that's she's right. just like him and discovers that that's not what you want. I've been waiting for me to come along. <laughs> There is a great actual psychological development that happens in this movie, which when you're talking about the plastic romantic comedies, this is the opposite of that. And, and quite surprising to me that it has the right shape for what it is, and it has a beautiful look to it, and I was quite uh, charmed by it. But what I like most about this movie is it really is about what love is, which is not just looking for the things you have in common, but learning to accept and love the things that are different about that other person. That is a journey everybody has to take, and this movie is about that journey.